Round three, this is. This is uh, get in the ring, round three, and not in this lifetime. However you want to say it, uh, round three. I'm at Guns N' Roses. We're outside Palacio de los Deportes in Mexico City. It's uh, November 29th, 2016. It's round three because we saw them twice uh, over there across the street at Foro Sol. They played uh, in April at the 50 or 65,000 seat stadium. A couple of nights tonight they're playing at the 20,000 seat arena, Palacio de los Deportes. Uh, they're playing tomorrow night too. Uh, I'm not going tomorrow. I'm coming. I went to the two in April, only one tonight. My wife is the mega fan. She's going tomorrow too. Um, but I'll, uh, I'm going to, uh, well, if, if you've seen this, God, I'm so repetitive. Here's the merch. This is the bootleg merchandise in Mexico City. Some of you are maybe really tired of it or me at this point. But Jimmy Crack Corn, and I don't care. Um, a bit of a surprise, I think, for a lot of people that Guns N' Roses came back this year. They um, they had the two shows in April, like I said, at the stadium. You'd think that would be enough, but uh, I guess not, because they uh, they announced the first show, and then it was a month later now that they announced the, that they announced the second show. Um, so very strange. Usually when they, when they announce multiple shows, it's uh, because of wild popular demand after the first show sells out quickly. Like currently with Metallica. Metallica announced a show here recently at the stadium, Photo Soul, across the street. And uh, it sold out just by the pre-sale. Before tickets even went on sale to the public, it was announced that it was sold out. Um, and they added a second show, which went on sale today, to the public. And uh, a third show should be announced any day. Possibly a fourth. Uh, but back to Guns N' Roses. Here's a... Uh, this guy's got hockey jerseys. Huh? Like in the shoulder? No. I don't know what he was saying. Something about my shoulder. We'll go past this generator quickly. I'll give my, uh, I often do this, uh, my concert history with Guns N' Roses. This is the, I think the, how many times? Three, four, five. This is the sixth time I've seen them. If anybody wants a, a, a tour of some fine Mexican beverages and snacks and candy. We have some Coca-Cola in there, Mexican Coke. A lot of people like it. It's candy, man. Um, I saw Guns N' Roses the first time, August 19th, 1987, a long, long time ago. Appetite for an Onion was only one month old, and um, they're opening for the cult, and nobody liked them. Me and my friends, or at least one friend, Pete Stamkos, if you're watching, we liked them. We knew about them, we followed that scene, we knew everything that was going on with those L.A. bands and I think rock bands in general. So we knew, there's some uh, relojes, plush, clock, um, yeah we knew and we, we knew they were going to be, a, a, I don't know about big, but there was a lot of hype for Guns N' Roses, even though at the time nobody knew who they were. Um, it was exciting, but nobody cared opening for the cult. Then we saw them again um, in uh, May 1988. Oh, these were all in Toronto, by the way. May 1988, opening for uh, for Iron Maiden this time. And uh, here's the first one. I've, I think I don't think I've seen backpacks before. There's a the first time I've seen a Guns N' Roses backpack or any backpack. They got these coffee cups. These, uh, I guess, necklaces. A little bit of official stuff. There's in uh, Metallica. Hardwired to self-destruct. Here's the uh, the the Metallica DVD. This was filmed uh, in Mexico when they played the three nights here in 2009 at the stadium across the street. Here's another backpack in red. Um, again, I'm speaking in fragments. I'm I'm too distracted. There's a night train shirt. Um, so we saw them opening for, for uh, Iron Maiden in May 1988. And uh, they were bigger then. They, a lot of people knew them, but they still weren't mega. That's why they are opening for Iron Maiden. And then again, at some point, I saw them on the Use Your Illusion tour. I think it was a couple of months before that album came out with Skid Row opening. Saw that in Toronto. They played two nights in Toronto. 
I just went to one. Skid Row opened that show. And then uh, didn't see them again for a long time. Like a lot of people kind of lost interest in them. Some go on this. And uh, here we are in 2016. I've seen him, pardon me, seen him three times this year. Or this is going to be the third time tonight. Funny, I mentioned this when I saw them last time in April. Um, I don't know if I've seen another band where the, the shirts that the members wear end up being shirts sold at their concerts. The people are, uh, are I guess so. And here's another, like a tote bag. And another little backpack. Um, so they got the, the Kill Your Idol shirt. And um, I've seen the Slash Pepe Le Pew shirt. Uh, we'll go on this side. I'm coming from a little bit different location, if you've seen these videos before. Um, just uh, as, uh, as Jimmy Hetfield said, open mind for a different view. Um, so we're just in a little section here. This guy's gonna... Salud! Gonna raise a toast. Here's the, the shot glasses, the pens. They got it all, man. Um, and while I'm on the topic, for anybody who watches these videos or, or uh, just in general that, that complains about uh, internet complaining about bootlegs and uh, the people that cry that uh, I, I was here for Black Sabbath, again across the street at the stadium uh, just 13 days ago. And, uh, and I did a video like this, and, and I, I always do. I get the, the people that complain that, um, that I'm not supporting the band. These are from people that are probably 22 years old. And uh, they're telling me from a band that I've been listening to for close to 40 years um, that I'm not supporting the band. Or for anybody, give me a break. Um, these guys, if you want to talk about a local band or maybe an up-and-coming band, okay, but... Um, these guys fly around the world on, on private planes in many cases. They see countries that most people will never see. Um, they get everything they want and they make gobs of money doing it. Don't complain about me or especially Mexicans in general selling shirts. Money is hard to come by in this country. Um, maybe the people that are commenting live in the United States or Canada where uh, money is not uh, it's not a big a deal, I guess. And there's a big difference between a t-shirt here that costs 100 or 120 pesos versus a shirt that inside that for Iron Maiden was 550. Almost 500% more. That's not a little bit. That's a lot. And in many cases, the quality is better uh, or at least as good. And in some cases, the well, as you can see, they have many, 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 countless more items to choose from. These usually, I think most bands have... Maybe uh, I'll go this way. Over, have uh, oh, here's the Charles Manson shirt again, with uh, Axel could make anybody famous. Well, I guess Charles Manson already was. Um, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, about the bootlegs. Um, these these people uh, don't have a lot of money. I think a lot of them, um, and it's it's all they can do to come to a concert once a year. Let them buy a t-shirt for a hundred pesos and shut up. Um, stop crying about bands getting getting ripped off. Oh, this, uh, these people have a lot of stuff. Here's uh, Twisted Sister. Ah, that's from their last show in Mexico, I guess. Um, just a couple of weeks ago in Monterrey. There it is again. Los Ramones. What else we got here? Puedo entrar? Gracias. Oh, look at this. They got everything. Wow, rainbow. My aforementioned friend, Pete Stamkos, I think would be impressed. Motorhead. Warrant. You don't see too many Warrant shirts. Skid Row. Kiss. Rat. I have that shirt. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I don't have this shirt, and I'm glad that I don't. Wasp. Pink Floyd. Motley Crue. Shout Out the Devil, one of my favorite albums ever, still after all these years. They sucked after that, but man, that was a good album. Um, I 
I think I'm going a little bit long. I think I'm over 10 minutes already. Usually I think people think seven or eight is long. Oh, and just one last thing about the, uh, the bootlegs for anybody else. We saw, who did we see just uh, half an hour ago? Uh, we saw two, I guess, uh, roadies uh, from, from Guns N' Roses. And what were they doing? They were asking one of the local roadies to take them on a tour to see all the t-shirts. Yeah, here. they wanted to buy this. They wanted to, they wanted to buy this stuff. Buy and I've seen that before. I've seen, uh, I remember here, right at the corner there, I saw the guys from um, from the Soundgarden crew doing the same thing. They were asked, this guy's got posters. They were asking, uh, they were loading up on stuff. They were sending messages to the band, um, sending them pictures, asking them what they wanted to get for them. Um, I've personally seen uh, Kirk from Down, saw him out. Uh, when Down played here a few years ago, saw him um, loading up on stuff. <laughs> Some unique stuff here. A little bit different from the t-shirt stuff. Um, and oh, last year, or not last year, last time Guns N' Roses played here, just in April. Um, who did we see? Uh, when? Uh, in April? Guns yeah. Roses. Never mind, she's not paying attention. Um, we saw Melissa Reese from Guns oh, N' Roses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Del James, the tour manager, uh, Guns N' Roses tour manager, they were out here buying stuff. So one last time to the people uh, that want to complain that, uh, that, that, that anybody's getting ripped off or losing any money, shut it. Um, everybody likes it. This is a great atmosphere. You don't have it where you live? That doesn't mean it's no good. This guy's got a lot of stuff here. And uh, welcome to my longest video ever. If uh, for anybody who's still listening now, that that might be just family members. If you have any suggestions, maybe if you think these videos are boring, tell me what to do. I remember some a guy told me like a year ago or something. He said instead of just showing the merchandise and and saying here's a shirt, here's a clock, here's a watch, here's a poster, um, he said uh, talk too. So kind of that's what I'm doing. So either thank or blame that guy. Uh, but if you have any other uh, comments to uh, to uh, that you think or that you would like to see, if uh, if you want me to shorten it, well, too bad if you do. I guess uh, I have a, a habit of, of rambling a little bit. Um, oh, for the nerds, the weather nerds. Um, what a beautiful night, yeah? Yeah, it's hot. It's, uh, yeah, it's, um, we were here just two weeks ago for Black Sabbath, as I said. That was a cold night. I think that was only about 12 or 13 degrees. It was raining. Tonight, when we got here today, it was 25 degrees. Beautiful, sunny. Um, I would guess now it's in the 20, 19, 20, around there. Beautiful, clear, clear skies. Uh, it's a nice night. Uh, good night for a concert. Any night is a good night for a concert. Um... Wow, that's long. All right, I'm going to uh, stop now. We're, uh, oh, and I'll say one last thing again for anybody who's, who's watching still. Even I think my family have tuned out at this point. Thank you very much to my friend Fernando. He, um, he did us, my wife and I, a little favor. Um, yeah, a couple of other things. He got us some picks. Uh, Lily got a Duff pick and I got a Fortis pick. And uh, he did another nice thing. He, he works here. He's with the local crew. Good guy, Fernando. Thanks for your help. Um, for anybody else, uh, we got Cadavar on December 18th. Um, we got three concerts in three nights, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Molotov on Friday. Rising Sun with American Sharks from Austin, Texas on Saturday, December 18th. 17th, and then um, Cadavar on uh, November 18th. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 16, 17, 18. Um, and we're going to Chiapas next week for a week. Taking a little vacation, gonna see some waterfalls, some crocodiles, some monkeys, some ancient ruins. We're gonna go, uh, as Axel says, to the jungle, yeah? Yeah. Terrible. Real jungle. Uh, God, this is long. This is like 15 minutes now. We're gonna go, we're gonna see Guns N' Roses for the who knows how many times this year. See ya.